So I've already cut the lace off camera. The kind of glue that I use is Ghost Bond. I'm just going in and I'm going to put the glue all around, well, in front of my edges. Um, when you're gluing your wigs down, you just want to make sure that you avoid putting glue on your edges because it will eventually thin them out. Also, I do have a wig cap on. I do have it pushed back. Um, I think I'm going to start applying my wigs with my wig cap not really on my edges because I don't do the ball cap method. I'm just not a fan of it. I feel like you'll go through too many wig caps doing that. So my wig cap is pushed back a little bit. Um, right here, as you see, I'm just smoothing out the glue um, just to smooth it out a little bit so that I don't have so much even though i feel like i may have got too much on there but that's okay after the glue has dried i like to wait till it's about clear like this and then i'm going to go ahead and place my wig where i want it to be now me personally i'm not a fan of a wig being glued down on my forehead i just literally go right past my edges Also, when you glue your wig down, you want to make sure that the hair is going back out of your face because when it dries, whichever direction the hair is in, the hair is going to fall that direction, if that makes sense, once the glue is dried. Okay, now I'm just about to go back and make sure that I glue down the ends of my hair right above my ear. Um, I don't get it on my sideburns because I don't do the ball cap method. Y'all, you want to make sure that you do not put glue on your sideburns because um, it will rip them out. So I just go right in front of them and then I glue my wig down. So here I'm just going to give y'all some tips on what you can do to um, help your wig stay glued down longer once you glue it on. Um, tip number one I found, if you're going to glue your wig down, do not go take a shower after you glue your wig down. Make sure you take your hot steamy shower before, then glue your wig down. Also, don't glue your wig down and go to the gym. Um, that's not going to help it stay on uh, at all. <laughs> that's like the worst thing you could do. Also, when you sleep at night, make sure you tie your edges down specifically. So I make sure that I either sleep with a headband around my edges or a scarf tied to my edges. And then I will put my bonnet over that. Before I start styling the hair, I always like to comb it out with a wide tooth comb just to make sure that I'm going to straighten out any of the curls that are currently in the hair before I start activating my own. Next, I'm going to start spraying the hair down with water. As you'll see, um, the more that I soak the hair, um, curls will start activating. I feel like the more wet you get your hair, the better it's going to look. Now I'm going to take my mousse and I'm going to apply that throughout my hair. The mousse is going to uh, lock in moisture. It's also going to help it have body and it's also going to secure those curls so that the hair does not get frizzy once it dries. The more product you apply to your hair, the more weighed down and the wet look you'll have.
right here i'm just going to take my brush and just brush in the product i feel like right here is the finishing touch um honestly the brush to me activates the curls the best i mean you can comb it out you can finger comb it but when you something about when you put that brush in your hair your curls are just going to be extremely defined So right here, I finally decided where I wanted my part to be. So I'm just gonna apply some more mousse um, to make sure that I lay my part down. So it is the next day. This is how the hair dried. I do like it. Um, it didn't take long to dry either, but I wanted to make sure I came back on camera to show y'all how it looks. I do like how it's cut. Um, and yeah, this is, I ended up, okay, I ordered the wig. This wig is from Jaja Hair. I ordered the wig on Amazon um, Thursday night. I got the wig Sunday, which was complete good timing because I don't have Amazon Prime. I did not pay for any specialty shipping or anything like that. So the wig came super fast. So I did like that. Um, also, as I showed you early on in the video, I showed you how um, the edges were plucked. I will say that um, I installed this wig, ended up installing it twice. The first time I put it on, um, my wig did not bleach all that well, did not take with the bleach all that well. So I was kind of like iffy about it. And then when I put it on, I tried to just put it on with how the edges were and I didn't really like that. Um, they were almost too thinned out for my liking. It was just too much of a, you know, probably about year to here <laughs> of like, um, you know thinned out edges I did not like that on me this is about how much I do like so um, I do like that um, I'm not a baby hair girl so I didn't put any baby hairs but if you wanted to do that you could um, other than that I love the hair I do like how like I said the angle that is cut in y'all it's giving me like Whitney Houston back in the day I think this is perfect vacation hair for when you're going to the beach or whatever like you can get this hair wet you can go swimming um you can sweat with this hair it's going to stay curly um this is the mousse that I use I get this from my beauty supply store I think it's only um $4.99 so I really really like um the hair um I'm trying to stop ordering wigs because I get to a point where I just I keep on and keep on ordering them but like I said um, I bleached the knots twice I do like how it turned out the second time I like this wig y'all I know it looks good when my dad complimented me on my hair he was like I like your hair like that so um yeah I do like this wig it's extremely affordable I'm gonna make sure that I link the um, hair in the description box below just in case anybody is interested in ordering it but like i said this is great vacation summertime hair you can't go wrong with this um i did apply a little bit of equal styler gel to um my edges just to slick it down well not really the edges but right here with the hair to slick it down but this hair is like i said super easy it's super affordable um you pretty much due to this hair like you would do your natural hair if you are natural um so it's easy to manage so y'all that is going to wrap up this video make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time i post and i'll see y'all in the next video you steady saying you want different people like who do you want i can give you whoever you want like <laughs> so you just gonna keep changing day. your fucking I'm not wig understanding different people i could be a different person every week if you want like what you look like some what's fucking the problem bubble. oh my god